What's up guys, it's Shockam, and I'm back taking another look at a LEGO Spider-Man No Way Home set. Set 76185, it's Spider-Man at the Sanctum Workshop, and it's 355 pieces, and it goes for $40. This figure we're going to take a look at here is the new Spider-Man Far From Home integrated suit, and this suit... I'm, I gotta say I'm not a big fan of, I'm not really a, a fan of the black and red Spider-Man, but it, it, it does look pretty good, it, I will not lie, the, the printing on this figure is pretty good, we're gonna get these standard web pieces out the way that come with every Lego Spider-Man set it seems like, uh, got all the other pieces too, I'm just gonna pop these in and then you get two of these, but anyway we're gonna take a look at the Spider-Man because this figure looks great now this head is the same head that comes with the 4 plus set so uh if you watch that video i already talked about the the head print uh but anyway let's get let's look at the torso um this nice gold printing looks great being accented by the tan the black has beautiful gray printing to accommodate the black to give it detail uh you see the gold belt the legs look fantastic let's get some light on that so you can see love the printing of the gold of course it does wrap all the way around as it is dual molded no printing on the arms it could have used a little but it's fine that it doesn't uh, black hands looks great um and then the gold continues on the back and that looks very very good these no way home figures are amazing and it doesn't stop with spider-man because next we're going to take a look at wong uh, Wong comes in his yellow jacket that he wore at the trailer, and that yellow jacket looks really good. Um, of course, you have his standard printing underneath. Uh, goes all the way down to the legs, which of course looks beautiful. Uh, you can see the, the printing continues all the way from the torso to the waist, all the way down to the leg. Looks fantastic. Uh, no dual molded, but that's fine. I don't really think it needs it. Um, this this jacket piece looks or jacket print looks great, and the face print is also pretty good. But I felt like Wong's facial hair was a little bit more than this. In Shang Chi, he had more of a goatee, but this is also fine. Uh, this is also a good substitute if you didn't get the Wong piece from the Bricktober pack from 2019 or 2018, uh, around when Infinity War came out. Uh, and if you take the hair piece off, there's some real hair on him. Not sure how that got there, but there's no back face printing. And this is what he looks like without the hair piece. But yeah, now we're going to take a look at Doctor Strange, who has a brand new Code of Levitation piece. Uh, you can just pull that off. And we're going to take a look at him in a second. So I'm going to put that off to the side. But Doctor Strange looks great. He has brand new printing. Uh, you can see, even see the Iagamoto. Certain lights, you can see the tan printing. I'm not really sure it's going to show up well on this camera, but that's fine. Uh, you got the, the the belt, which is printed well. Except this, this seems to be a problem with most of the figures that have to have this seamless print. But mine is slightly printed a little more to the left. But that's okay, because it's barely noticeable at a distance. But um, yeah, you got you can see his leg printing in good light. Doesn't wrap around to the side, but again, the same with Wong. It's fine. It doesn't really need it. Uh, anyway, the face is new. This looks great, and he also has a back face print, which is an uh, angrier expression. And let's take a look at that back too. The back is also good. Um, oh, I didn't know that this disc piece was also on his back. Okay, that's that's a neat detail. I never noticed that. But um, yeah, he also has this, his sideburns, his gray sideburns printed, which are not same on on both sides. So I appreciate that. And of course, he has just the standard wavy hair. But now we're gonna take a look at the cape because that is still technically a part of Doctor Strange. Uh, the cloak of levitation is a rubbery piece that can be put onto the to any mini figure of your choice. So I'm just gonna throw it on Spider-Man just, just because it's kind of relevant, it's kind of relevant. Uh, but that's what that looks like. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have Zombie Hunter Spider-Man with me to try it on, but I will definitely be doing that in my own time. But anyway, we're gonna 
and just push that back on Doctor Strange. And anyway, we're going to move on to MJ, who looks pretty good. Uh, a lot of her pieces are actually not all of her pieces are from different things. Uh, you have this wavy brown hair, which has been used on Miss Marvel. And you have the the face print, which was used on the 2019 Hydro Man attack in Venice. Uh, that also has a back face printing, which very accurate to Zendaya. The likeness is pretty good. The torso, I believe, is from uh, Ron Weasley from Harry Potter. And she has just standard black legs. First build we're going to be taking a look at here is this nice nicely built scorpion creature uh it is not exactly a scorpion because it doesn't have the the tail but it is very likened to a scorpion you can see from the sticker that has some, the nice scale printing on it uh the face is very likened to a scorpion even down to the pincers which can hold a minifigure. We're gonna do Wong just because he was the one on the box. You can hold a minifigure, and in the other hand, let's just do MJ just just because I don't know. Uh, there we go. So it can hold people, and yeah, that's pretty cool. So let's get them out of the way so we can do the posability. All right. So everything is on a ball joint. Uh, ball joint. These are hinges. They can move like this. And the head is also on a ball joint, and this body piece is on a ratchet joint or a click joint, and it can move up and down like that, which is pretty neat. All the legs are on hinges, which break very easily because this is Lego, but yep, all of the legs, boom, 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 boom. They all move. Anyway, uh, nothing else really to say about this, this, uh, call it a figure, this build. So uh, let's move on to the other build. That being the Sanctum Workshop. Now there is a lot to break down here. So we're going to start from the left and go right. So first right off the bat popping right out at you. We have this creature in this box. Which is if you open the box and take it out. It's just, uh, it's just two tentacle pieces with uh, the fang pieces attached to a 1x2 round plate. And you can stick that in the chest and close it and boom, you got a little little creature, that little guy. Uh, anyway, starting from the top, got an egg, we got a vial, we got this thing, which I know what it's called, but I can't remember right now. It's inside the crown piece. Back here, you got a lamp with the crown piece on top. Uh, you have a camera. Get that out. You got a camera that just goes in here like this. Uh, there you go. Red crystal shard, some vials back here. Uh, turn it around so you can see it better. Uh, you got a toolbox and then you got a cauldron. And moving past that, you got an hourglass back there. You should be able to see it. Oh, there's an hourglass right there. There's the, the, the stereo. You got a chair that spins. On the computer, I'm going to try to get into that. There you go. Oh, I love the power of zooming. You have a picture of Peter Parker, um, Mysterio, the I Believe Mysterio poster. Uh, who is Spider-Man? We know who it is. Um, we have some printing down there, which I can't quite read, but I'm sure some other people who have reviewed this say I have gone into detail on what that is. But uh, yeah, so now we're going to move to the right which is the workshop area. As you can see, you have a bike right here, which does come off. And on this side, you have the web piece. Forgot to mention that. Uh, so yeah, you can take the bike off. There you go. It rolls pretty good. You can put a figure on it. Uh, who haven't I used? I haven't used Spider-Man yet. Uh, so you can put the minifigure on there. Nice like. Uh, this is going to take a while. Probably should cut, but it's fine. I got it. There we go. Uh, clip on. There we go. All right. So, yeah, Spider-Man can ride the bike. He can he can drive the bike. Um, yep. All right. Taking him off. So we can put the bike back on the wall. Pretty neat. Pretty neat. All right. So, we got a couch with a candelabra. 
looks pretty neat i love this piece um put that back on without breaking it there we go we got a controller look at that controller there's a motorcycle outside but that's fine uh there's a controller right there there's a chalice back there that gold chalice right there there's a uh let's take this off there's a lego shima crystal piece with a lego city geode on it just being held onto by this table back there and there is new i'm not sure how new they are but they are new these new lego tools you got uh axle thing this is used for cars you got some oil some wrenches in that and a hammer and you got a drill right here too which i am going to take off so i can show you there you go there's a drill piece looks pretty cool and they're all molded in this nice silver and right here you got let's, let's do a little zoom oh not too close there we go uh you got a bottle which is used to hold everybody's favorite alcohol um in this drawer you got a syringe and another one of those pieces that's a screwdriver i believe um and the top one these are a little hard to get open because my fingernails aren't very long oh well, okay well i'll just take it out and then in here you have another wrench piece and inside the barrel let's take a look inside the barrel you got some jewels red and green to represent scorpion and spider-man no i'm kidding i'm kidding i'm kidding it's just two colors um so yeah that's it for that of course you have this nice couch piece which can see a minifigure not dr strange though because of the cape but just trust me bro it seats people anyway we're gonna move on to this center piece which has stickers and as you can see probably not but you get you should be able to tell that i've messed up some sticker placements right here and right here but yeah all of these pieces are stickers except for these one by one tiles those are not stickers those are just plain pieces and you can put your hand through here which i learned is a very nice way to to move this thing around just grab it like it's a handle uh but anyway let's turn this around so you can see the back and Right, right here you got a scorpion piece. Um, you got a little, little bowl. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this thing off just for ease of access. Uh, you got a idol in here. You got a little gem jewel, and you got a spider piece right here, which looks pretty good. This is one of the newer spider uh, pieces. And then just to just to show you the the scorpion that fell apart. Oops. Just show you the scorpion. There you go. There's the scorpion. Uh, I'm gonna cut for a second so I can put this back together. And then we're going to take a look at the packaging and the instruction booklet. The instruction booklet is a standard thirty dollar size instruction booklet. Um, let's zoom out just a tiny bit so you can see it all. Uh, no way home. You got the product on the front the nice shot of spider-man right there inside you got online instructions uh you got the standard baggy stuff oh wow it's thunderstorming outside that's pretty neat uh anyway sorry <laughs> i got out i got so off track there so you're gonna hear a bit of thunder so uh sorry about that um but yeah you got the builds inside and then on the back you got the piece and part count and then you got advertisements for the mix and advertisements for the August wave. And that's it for the instruction and the box. Oh man, I'm gonna have to put that far away. The box is a $40 thick boy box. Look at the thickness on that guy. Uh, anyway, uh, you got, of course, you have the shots of the product on the front. Uh, you have Spider-Man, Doctor Strange, MJ, Scorpion Guy, and Wong. Got the Spider-Man logo. Picture of Spider-Man right there. Uh, on the side, you got Marvel. Uh, on the back, you got another sh product shot. Um, you got play feature on the back. Spider-Man No Way Home. Uh, on the top of the box, Spider-Man No Way Home. 
uh, accurate size. Let's see if that checks out. And it does pretty nicely. Let's just put it on this side. Does pretty nicely. No, don't focus on my arm. Focus on the figure. There you go. Uh, that works. All that. Uh, Lego. That's upside down. On the bottom. Lego life. No way home. Barcode. Recycle. All right. Now let's do my final thoughts and get this over. All right. Well, it is thunderstorming like crazy outside, so I'm going to try to wrap this up quickly. Anyway, I really enjoyed building this set. I enjoy the figures. They look very, very fantastic. The builds are great. Um, if you want to buy this set, go ahead. It's very, it's not very, it's relatively cheap. It's only $40. Uh, and I got the whole set actually for only 80 bucks. So that's pretty, that's pretty good. Um, anyway, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and watch the others in the series. Uh, they'll all be going up at relatively the same time. I'm going to be posting them within the hour, depending on how long it takes them to finish rendering. But anyway, uh, that's it for this, and I'll see you guys next time.